that's another fast one. Here we are, Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. So we're at the uh, third inning. The game was supposed to start at 105. Then they rescheduled it to four o'clock. It is now 8.30 and we're in the uh, top of the third. But pretty much, we can sit anywhere we want tonight. And nobody from the pandemic crew is here, so uh, I guess that's what we're gonna do. A lot of the concession stands, bull barbecues closed. The Coca-Cola corners closed. All the water ice stands are closed. I'm called by the hitter. And look, look how empty the 100 level is. This is exciting. That used to be the out-of-town scoreboard. It would have the scores of all the games going on uh, across Major League Baseball. This year, they added this new digital advertising element. <clears throat> and then in the middle of the scoreboard, you can see the pitcher versus batter matchup. I'm going to probably leave it. I got, I'll quit. I'll, I'll quit. I got punched in the face by Big Dan Champion. You're right. Right. Just leave it. Nose was a little. Didn't win it. No, we, we lost. We were win. I thought we were going to win too. Just like we thought the Phillies would win. Yeah. We thought Rocky would win. Well, I, at, it, the, at the beginning, one and two. What, what time did you get here today? Two. Two o'clock. Been here all those hours for the rain delay. Loving it, right? Yeah. Well, not loving the rain, but right. Love, yeah. <laughs> love, loving being here. Good to see you, Captain. It's great to see you. Have you seen anybody from the pandemic crew today? Just Brett. Oh, Brett's here? Yeah, I, I don't know if he's still here. I didn't see Oscar though yet. Nah. Phillies uh, designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Home run ties it up it here. Charge! Charge! Home run. Charge! 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 Carl, you didn't say charge once. Now they're not going to charge because of you. A lot of the players are wearing ski mask. Ski mask. I know what's going on. Umpires are wearing ski mask. Left side, sir. That's all right. There goes Trey Turner. He's all bundled up. You didn't give up on the Phillies, did you? No, I would never. I thought you did. No, I heard rumors to it. I am being very sarcastic. Come on, Luke. Let's go. If I see him. If I see him. Some of the... Uh, it's cool sometimes to sit real close and watch some of the elite pitchers pitching, like right now Zach Wheeler's pitching. So since the stadium's empty, what I'm going to do is just give you guys one lap on the first floor, because I don't think I'm ever... Here we are, Capri! What happened to your uh, water ice stand? It's closed. Yeah, I'm not doing good, too good today. No, nah, nobody's buying water ice under uh, these temperatures. You haven't been posting enough. I got I got punched in the face by Big Day and Champion. I'm a little sore. Like Do I? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me start the tour here at the yard. The yard. It's pretty much a place where you take your kids to shut them up when they whine and are bored. So you come here, the kids can play baseball, wiffle ball, they can hit, they can field. Uh, they could also do a rock climbing thing here. They have a hot dog launching thing. And over there you could do, uh, you can do a, like, you, you throw a pitch and they tell you how fast it is. That's Capri's water ice stand, Philly captain tip. Hot dogs are the cheapest at this stand all year round. They're under $3 during any game, not just to buy one, get one nights. Over here is the Citizens Bank Park stand, or the Citizens Bank stand. If you play wiffle ball, they take a picture of your kid, and you come here, and they, they, you get the picture for free. They also give out sunglasses and sunscreen at this location. Have an extra baseball glove at your house? Bring it here and donate it to somebody. This is Chicky and Pete's. Chicky and Pete's is known for their chicken fingers, but they're really, really known for is their crab fries. It's like French fries with Old Bay seasoning, and then they give you this yummy cheese sauce. Very, very good. Here we are. How are you? 
How you doing? Good to see you. Here's a cocktail bar. Over here, you got Campos. That's a, a cheesesteak place. And this is Manco and Manco. It's Jersey Boardwalk Pizza here at the ballpark. Here we are. Go down here, you can see the bullpen. Nobody warming up yet. Here you have the Batter's Eye Bar. It's where you can get canned beer. They usually sell lemonade over here. This is Richie Ashburn. This section of the ballpark is named Ashburn Alley. There's a statue of Richie. And there are Richie's career stats. 308 batting average. And he had 200, 2,574 hits. Uh, this is where Philly sports guy usually hangs out. Come on, Sean! What are we doing? They're not lighting us up in 301 today. Food in the stadium is probably in Ashburn Alley. You got Tony Luke's cheesesteaks. You got Campos cheesesteaks. I always go with Campos. Um, they got PJ Will in hands. They have chicken wings and, and chicken fingers. And right here is a team store. This isn't the one Luke works at, but it's the second biggest team store in here. T-shirts, hats, sweatshirts. You have the another water ice stand, and you got some places where you could buy hooch. Right here is the Liberty Landing. Now, if you get here before, let's say you get here, game starts at 7, and you get here at 5.30, you can plant your ass in one of these chairs, and you can sit here for the entire game, and you don't need to buy a ticket. Usually, uh, this bar is packed and... Uh, you know, this is a special, special night. All right, we're going to keep going. Look, during the games, they usually have security guards standing here, and you have to have a ticket to walk through this aisleway. So, one, there's two ways to get through this direction. You can either walk up here and cross through a crowded bar, or... If you walk in this direction, you could check out the... Phillies, Wall of Fame, and they also have famous numbers like Mike Schmidt, Richie Ashburn. You can take a picture with the World Series trophy. There's a men's room hidden back here. This is the Phillies Wall of Fame. There's another tip of the cap to Richie Ashburn. Robin Roberts, Chuck Klein. Right, keep going. Every year, they add a player or two. And sometimes they don't even add players. They add people from the front office, like Ruley Carpenter or John Quinn. And for some reason, Scott Rowland is on our Wall of Fame. I know he's a Hall of Famer, but he doesn't like us, so I don't like him. Um, Bulls Barbecue, it has... It, I've never had bad food at Bulls Barbecue. Um... If you get, want to try that Schwerberger, the new Schwerberger, you would uh, get that at the treat stand. But they have burgers and fries here. That's nine now for Wheeler, three in a row. Wheeler, nine strikeouts. He's doing. Here we are. This is. If he gets another strikeout this inning, that'll be 10. Harry Callis, he is the Phillies broadcaster, he's in the Hall of Fame. And uh, there's a restaurant up there or a bar up there. It's called Harry the Cage. This is the Luganagles left field. I don't I don't know how you say it. Luganagles. That sounds close. Now, if you come to the game early, you can sit here and stand here for a game. You don't need to have a ticket. They have stools. They have stools back here. You can also grab a stool from there and bring it up here. How exciting. Here are some more food options. Federal donuts and chickens. They have um, uh, really good donuts and even better chicken sandwiches. This is Primo Hoagies. If you want to try a real authentic Philadelphia hoagie, you can't go wrong with Primo's. Here we are. And then you come over here, you have, you got Dippin' Dots, you got more hooch, you got more drinks. This is a self-serve stand. So you just grab your drink and you self-serve. Oh, back in this corner, 
if you uh, come here, there's there are little family restrooms in certain sections of the ballpark. Sometimes there's never a line here. There might be a line for the men's room a mile long, but you can use that if you're by yourself. You don't need to have a family to use the family restroom. Right here, they're selling a 50-50 chance. You can buy a 50-50 ticket. And the jackpot today is $8,000. On opening day, the uh, jackpot was over $100,000. You got more Manko and Manko and more hot dog options. Here's a beer stand not open. Right here, this is the team store. This is where, let me just give Luke a high five. Hey, Luke! Come on, just give me a high five real fast. I'm just showing the people where you work. What's the name of the store? It's just called the team store. Yeah, the new era store. New era store. Yeah. Okay. Are the Phillies going to come back? Yes. Okay. Two nothing. All right. Thanks, All right, Luke. Still two nothing. And what? You're never here during the first inning, right? On my breaks. On your breaks. Uh, yeah, I like to do my thing. You know? I know. I got you. I got you. All right, buddy. I'll see you. Uh, come on, Luke. Let's go. We're going to score this inning. I hope so. Let's go. See you. Right next to Luke's team store, you could come here and buy authentic game used merchandise. Uh, you can buy a base that was used in the NLCS or the NLDS, or you could buy an opening day base. This is from the opening day against the Braves. I should actually buy that. They have game used jerseys. Game used balls. The game used stuff has gotten more and more expensive over the years. I think they have a broken bat used by Trey Turner. It's going for $2,000. If you go through this gate, this is the uh, third base gate right outside is a Mike Schmidt statue. They have a bar here, and usually. Uh, there's people usually drinking out here, but you know today's a different day. But the one thing that you should never sleep on is this pizza stand back here. This is a Manco and Manco. It used to be called Foundry Pizza. Now it's a Manco and Manco. Check out this pizza oven. This is the only stand that has this type of pizza oven, and it also has this photograph opportunity with the Phillies waterfall. You go in here, and this is the Piss and Stow restaurant. This is a restaurant you can go in. They also have a bar, and you can come in here, sit down, warm up, and uh, of course today with it being so cold, this is going to be kind of crowded. They have a digital scoreboard, not a digital scoreboard, a flip scoreboard in here. It's named Pass and Stow after the guys who did the repair on the Liberty Bell. If you go to the Liberty Bell, you'll see the name Pass and Stow right there. Pass and Stow. There's a portrait of Veteran Stadium, and there's some more stuff from old Veteran Stadium. There you go. Sort of behind home plate, there's a Shake Shack. They have fantastic burgers and really good fries. You stand behind the seats. There's these uh, little tables that you can just sit here and watch the game. Usually, there's like two or three people deep right behind home plate. You never get this good of a spot. Behind home plate, you go right here. This is guest services. You can also buy advanced tickets here if you go to guest services. If you have a kid and it's their very first baseball game, you tell them at guest services, they will give you a certificate for your first baseball game. Home stand is where they sell a lot of retro, retro merchandise, more beer. Colby Southern Kiss Chicken. This is a chicken stand run by, or on a run, but it's owned by former Philly Ryan Howard. Pretty good sandwiches here. You got a lot of options for hooch and beer. If you see a stand with a white underneath it, that usually means it serves hard liquor. If you see it blue, that means beer. Now this stand here 
You see how it says South Philadelphia up there? If you see a stand and it just names a neighborhood from Philadelphia, this is just a generic stand. They're, they have hot dogs, they have pretzels, popcorn, soda. Nothing really special. But if you see a stand that has a name like Colby's or, uh, you know, Tony Luke's, that's an authentic Philly experience. The food in here, I've the, the only time I've ever had any food here, and I was like, oh, this sucks. It's like a dollar gold. Usually the food in this place is good. The, the, the one complaint I would have is the prices were getting a little crazy. And I go to games by myself. I couldn't imagine taking a family of four to a game, especially kids who don't understand that you don't want to pay $16 for a hamburger or soda. And if you come over here, we're getting close to the first base. This uh, is Hunt's Auctions, and they sell uh, autogra autographed merchandise. There's also a family restroom down there, a men's room here. Here we are! Oh, I appreciate that. I like, I like the 69 with the girl signs, baby. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, man. I will. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Well, I'm doing okay. The yeah. are loose. Oh, here's something cool. This is an ice cream topping bar. This is definitely new. And look at this. Hershey, Hershey syrup, sprinkles, jimmies, whatever you call them. How exciting. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's not going to last long. It's too messy. Yeah, it's too much work. Oh boy, Cincinnati scores another run. Back to back doubles. It's uh, the uh, top of the six, it's three nothing, the bad guys. All right, Chris, Chris Wheeler has 10 strikeouts. And on that note, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. You know, a lot of people ask me, they go, hey, Captain, how do you get to go to so many games? Well, here's the deal. I use SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticket buying app that makes buying tickets so easy. If you download SeatGeek right now and use promo code the Philly Captain, lower cases, no spaces, I can save you $20 off your first order, $50 or more. So download SeatGeek today. Use promo code the Philly Captain. I, I, I was in a wrestle, like, no lie, I was involved in a wrestling match earlier today. And uh, one of my former wrestlers, big damn champion, punched me in the head like multiple times. My lip hurts. Capri says I have a black eye. And, uh, you know, it's time to go home. It's enough. Uh oh, before I get, look, they hit a home run. I don't know who hit a home run, but they hit a home run. So now we're only down by two runs. Maybe I should go back in. While I don't know the final score now, I could tell you the final score. Well, I felt like they were going to lose, and I knew they weren't going to sing High Hopes. So I figured, let's get the hell out of here. By the way, just because I'm leaving this game early doesn't mean I'm not hunting. I'm always hunting. Matter of fact, the Phillies are hunting for a red October.